The topic I chose to analyze was how exercise benefits the brain. I found this to be very engaging and interesting when I was researching different infographics. Something I found when looking at these infographics was that they included a lot of information, but they are very busy and lacked aspects that would grab the viewer's attention. Some of these aspects included small font, dull colors, and unorganized facts. My goal when creating my own infographic was to improve these issues. I gathered my research from the two infographics I chose and began to create my own improved version. The first infographic I found was titled, Your Brain on Exercise. This included many facts about how the brain is benefited by exercise. It talked a lot about how exercising can improve your chances of not getting diseases such as Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, and dementia. It also discussed how mental health can be improved and how it reduces stress. This infographic included many different colors, but they were not very attention-grabbing. The font provided also was very small, so it could be difficult to read for some people. While it lacked in those categories, the information was organized and easy to understand. They also used isolation by putting a large image of a woman working out in the center of the infographic. They also used symmetry with each image and the fact that was provided. This was effective for grabbing the viewer's attention. The audience of the infographic was geared towards people who enjoy exercise or people who were interested in learning more about exercise and the benefits. This infographic could be helpful for people of all ages and a good tool to learn facts about exercise in the brain. The second infographic I chose to analyze was titled, What Can Exercise Do to Your Brain? This discussed how exercise helps with memory, improved mental health, heart health, and increased creativity. This infographic was more effective in grabbing the viewer's attention compared to the first one that I had analyzed. This included colors that were bright and the main color was blue. Blue is a color that will draw people's eyes in and they also use other bright colors as the background for the text boxes. Something this infographic did similar to the previous one was use the isolation technique. In the center, there is a figure holding weights and it shows his brain coming out of his head. This was a creative way in showing an image that related to exercise in the brain. Something that could be worked on is they provided many facts but the font was small and lengthy. The audience for this infographic could be for people of all ages that want to learn more about the benefits of how exercising benefits not only your brain but your entire body. The infographic I created is titled, How Exercise Benefits the Brain. My audience was for people of all ages who wanted to learn more about exercise and the impacts it has on the brain. I wanted to keep my infographic simple and as informative as possible. My goal was to combine the two previous infographics I had analyzed and create an improved version. I did this by taking the information that I had learned and figuring out what was most important. I made sure to use bold font on the title and the headers of each box of information so that it was clear what I was discussing. I also made sure that the font was big enough for all readers to see and I included bright colors and images in order to grab viewers attention and keep them interested. I wanted the images to be large enough to see but also not overpower the overall infographic. I used creative thinking when creating this because I made sure that it was not a copy of one of the two infographics I had used earlier. I wanted to create something new and use images and text that not, had not been used. I used my critical thinking skills by keeping the information organized and in line with one another. I also used critical thinking by synthesizing all of the information to come up with the best possible content. Overall, I feel that I created an infographic that was an improved version of the two that I had analyzed. I wanted my infographic to be organized and engaging while reaching out to my audience. I wanted to create something that was not only visually pleasing, but informative as well. I completed this by using my creative and critical thinking skills and applied what I had learned throughout the course. Creating this infographic showed me the importance of being able to analyze while also being able to create something that was effective, and I think my infographic achieved this.